If you speak well, you live a good life. Ndiyo maana Biblia inasema aliambia Mungu watch set a watch over my get or my mouth. Na anasema ya kwamba before my mouth keep the door of my lips. May the door of my lips be kept. Ndiyo maana Biblia inasema muwe wasikizaji lakini msikie zaidi lakini mseme machache. Angalia jirani yako mwambie ukisikiza watu wa kuongea mambo mengi uteleza. Aa, hata kwa mkutano usio wa kuongea kierehere sana unaongea sana utateleza. At the course of the day lazima na kuhakikishia utateleza. Great people they speak when they are needed. Salimia jirani yako mwambie ongea wakati unahitajika. Usirusherushe tu maneno inakuwa ovyo but when you are needed you speak and something happens. Somebody say amen. Amen. Na inasema you become the product of what you speak or declare. You become a product of what you speak or declare. That is Proverbs chapter 18 verse number 21. You cannot miss what you said. What you say it makes you to become the, the exact thing that you have spoken. So we are the product of what we declared. I pray that you declare rightly. Naomba kwamba tunene vizuri, tuishi vizuri. Tuseme vizuri, tukae sawa sawa. Ili Mungu akikuangalia, ajue ya kwamba wewe kinywa chako kimetiwa kinga. You can speak things that can be constructed and something good comes out of it. Do you remember what the Bible says concerning creation? The Bible says and God spoke and the creation was formed. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, read your Bible. God never come down here to begin creating things. He was speaking and things were being created. Are we together? So look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, in the same way, the Bible says we were created in the image of God. In his likeness, we were created. The same thing, he has given you power. Ame kupatia nguvu. Ya kunena na mambo ya nafanyika. Nina kuombea katika jina la Yesu mahali mambo haifanyiki kuanzia leo enda usimame na imani enda unene mambo itaanza kufanyika katika jina la Yesu enda nena kwa hiyo biashara ambayo imekwama miaka nyingi enda simama pale neno maneno yaliyo katika Biblia itaanza kusonga katika jina la Yesu wale watoto ulionao ambao hawakusiki Usianza kuwalaani, anza kunena na ku shape their lives. Anza kunena na kutengeneza njia zao. As you speak, it shall come to pass. God will honor his word. You know mikono sema Mungu naomba unisaidie. God will honor his word from you. The spirit number one that we need to deal with it. Number one spirit is the spirit of a lie. A lying spirit. Roho ya uongo. Angalia jirani yako mwambie unaielewa kweli roho ya uongo. Hiyo roho ni roho ya nyakati za mwisho. Maana hii roho itawafanya wengi hawatakubali kuketi chini ya mafundisho ya ukweli. Am I talking to somebody now? Hii roho ikikushika wewe hata ukikatazwa jambo mbaya lenye Mungu hataki ufanye unakasirika. Hata ukiambiwa usifanye namna hivyo nasikia unachamka. Angalia jirani yako mwambie ni wewe unasikia hii maneno. Yaani unafika mahali hautaki hata ukatazwe lile neno Biblia inasema do not do this. Hiyo roho ni roho ya uongo. Shetani anakugeuza. Anaweka uongo katikati yako. Alafu mahali kuna uongo basi ukweli unapingwa. A lot of people today tunangangana na maisha. Tunangangana na hali tuliyo nani kwa sababu tumepinga ukweli. Kizazi chetu leo hii hakipendi ukweli. Watu wengi siku ya leo hawapendi kusoma Biblia. Watu wengi katika nyakati za mwisho hawana Biblia katika kanisa. Angalia jirani yako kama ako na Biblia msalimie. Mwambie hata kizazi hiki watu wengi hawakumbuki mambo ya Biblia. Lakini hawatasahau maneno ya mambo yao wenyewe katika ulimwengu wa kawaida. Ni vile tumedanganywa na shetani. Angalia jirani yako mwambie tumedanganywa na shetani. Ya kwamba you need sugar hautaki Biblia. Angalia jirani yako mwambie kuanzia leo umedanganywa na shetani. Unahitaji unga 
hautaji wewe hutaki Biblia umedanganywa na shetani kwamba unahitaji tu fair ya kupeleka kazini lakini hautaki Biblia kuanzia leo baba wa mbinguni anataka kutubadilishia mawazo na kama kuna mtu katika hili kanisa unapokea hili neno nataka nikuambie toka mahali hapa mchana wa leo anza kutafakari katika njia zako kama hauna Biblia kwa nyumba yako hauna neno katika nyumba hiyo utasoma wapi najua Wengine wataniambia kwamba nitasoma kwenye simu yangu. Wakati mwingine stima itapotea. Angalia jirani yako waambie stima itapotea. Hiyo simu yako haitakosa. Moto utakosa kusoma siku hiyo. Kama stima itapotea mwaka moja, kuna watu hawana Biblia hapa. Angalia jirani yako waambie wewe unanielewa kweli jirani? Kuna watu watakosa kusoma andiko kwa sababu watasema oh hakuna stima kwetu maana hawakuchaji ya, hawakuchaji simu zao ndio waangalie katika simu zao ndiposa biblia inasema shetani anageuza anageuza lile neno linatakana likuongoze maana biblia inasema neno la Mungu ni taa katika miguu ya Mkristo angalia jirani yako mwambie neno la Mungu ni taa na shetani anataka ujikwae, ujigonge, usiende mahali. Kwa sababu hauna taa. As I talk about the lamp, I'm not talking about the physical life. We are talking about the spiritual life. Mambo ya kiroho inahitaji watu wa kiroho. Angalia jirani yako mwambie mambo ya kiroho inahitaji watu wa kiroho. Watu wa kiroho wakikumbana na hali ya dunia hii, they can change it. God has given you power. I declare to somebody here. God has given you Power. God has given you strength. God anointed you so that when you find something that is happening around you, ambaye sio nzuri, you have the power. Wacha kulalamika salimia jirani yako mwambie wacha kulalamika. Wacha kulalamika. You have the power within you. Nani yako na nguvu katika jina la Yesu? Sina mikono namna hii. Peperisha mikono vizuri. Sema niko na nguvu. Na usiseme kama mtu anaanguka. Sema niko na nguvu. Mtu akiona nguvu hata kiongea anasikika. Sema niko na nguvu. Ndio maana Yesu angekuruhusu uanze chochote katika huduma. Lazima kwanza ujazwe na roho mtakatifu. Maana tunaanza na kuwa na power ndio tuanze kazi. Salimia jirani yako mwambie wewe ulianzaje kazi bila power? Ndio maana unafika mahali unaanza kututisha unasema I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Ulianza bila power. Salimia mwenzako mwambie ulianza bila power. Wewe ulitrespass ukaingilia katikati. Lakini watu ambao wamejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu ndio wakaanza kuingia katika huduma hata utingiza huyo mtu atingiki. Huyu ndio mtu Paulo alikuwa anasema anasimama imara na tangazia mtu katika jina la Yesu hata ukitingizwa na mawimbi ya dunia hata kama utatingizwa na mambo ya wanadamu hata kama utatingizwa na hali ya economy ya maisha yako nataka nikutangazia katika jina la Yesu ikiwa aliyekuita ajabadilika hautabadilisha mawazo pigia Yesu makofi na bigelegele sema sitabadili mawazo sitabadili mawazo hata ije mvua ije nini sitabadili maisha yangu na Yesu maana biblia inasema paulo akamwambia timotheo manangu wa kiroho hii injili ya kiinjilisti wakati wa majira na nje ya majira wakati inakubalika na wakati hali ni ngumu preach the gospel inua mikono sema i will preach it Unamaanisha ama unasema tu kwa sababu ya furaha? Uh, do you mean what you are talking about? Sema kwa sauti I will preach it. A lying spirit imeshika watu. Mpaka mtu anajiweka tu paka na ana, anadanganya tu lakini anajua. Hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie wewe jirani. <laughs> Sikiza vile nasema John chapter 8 verse number 44. The Bible says uh, uh, I will just uh, read the part of it. Inasema kwamba and abort not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Shetani hana ukweli ndani yake. Na yeye kutoka mwanzo hajawahi kubali kutembea katika ukweli. Na yeye akitaka kutimiza uongo anamuingilia mwanadamu. Anatafuta mtu. Anatafuta mtu ambaye anaweza tenda kwa niaba yake. Kwa hivyo ukiona mtu ni muongo sio maneno ya hekima ako nayo angalia jirani yako mwambie ni roho fulani ya uongo iko ndani yako kuna mtu siku ikianza awezi kosa kudanganya maana kuna kitu inamwambia na leo ni nini inafanyika paga na kudanganya ndiye asikie vizuri 
Nasema uongo kama anasema ukweli. Uliza jirani yako wewe unapigiwa simu na uliza uko wapi? Ndio maana swali la kwanza ukipigiwa simu chunga sana. Hebu angalia jirani yako ombi kitu umeweka kwa simu kwa mfuko yako chunga na nayo. Swali la kwanza ukipigiwa hiyo kitu hiyo umeweka kwa mfuko, unauliza uko wapi? Yaani unatestiwa kwa ukweli. Unatestiwa kama utasema ukweli. Ukisema niko jakaranda na uko buruburu uongo. Angalia jirani yako vizuri mwambie. Kuna wale wanasema ninakuja, niko njiani nakuja na wamekaa kwa nyumba wanakunywa chai uongo. Hebu angalia jirani yako ombi hii kitu umeweka kwa mfuko ndio inaumaliza maisha yako hii kitu. Chungana na hiyo kitu. Adui mkubwa wako kwa mfuko yako. <laughs> Salimia mtu mpatie high five mwambie adui mkubwa uliweka kwa mfuko na kuambia ukweli. Na kama nakudanganya enda jaribu uone. Unangangana Unadanganya uko soweto na uko kayole kona. Wewe. Paka kuna mungine gani? Haku fungua mdomo na haku sema chocho. Tulimatisalimia na tuna tukamaliza na mnaimu. Lakini penye alienda. Najua hata kama uko wapa zuna niyele watu jamani. <laughs> Bwana yesu asifiwe. Pijia yesu makofi mazuri muambia hiyo kitu. Shetani ametushika na uongo. Tunangangana tutoke katika hiyo mtego lakini hatutoki. The enemy is after the truth. Number two, Second Timothy chapter 4. Second Timothy chapter 4. Verse number 3 through verse number 4. The Bible says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they help, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned into fables. Bwana sifio san. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter number 4. Second Timothy chapter number 4. From verse number 3. The Bible says uh, many in people in the last days. They will not endure sound doctrine. Ni ukweli ama ni wongo. Enda makanisa mengi inaambia Inasema ruka juu, ruka juu, chukua Mercedes, come on. Ruka, 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 chukua, chukua nyumba, chukua Max Shonet. Chukua, chukua, ruka, 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 chukua visa ya kuenda Amerika. Imejaa watu. Angalia jirani yako mambie, siku za mwisho, watu wa watu apenda ukweli. Am I talking to somebody here? <laughs> Ama njini ya muoni kile mini naona. Siku za mwisho, people will be looking for miracles. People will be looking for a word of prophecy. Paka mtu anauliza mtu ana, mungu anasemaje kunihusu. <laughs> Soma biblia. Sio tu unabisi yo kusimama tu kwa barabara na kwanza kutabiri. It was a shift in the spirit. And a man who carries the prophetic word was to be moved by the Holy Spirit to prophesy. Sio unipata kwa barabara uniambia pastor prophesy to miss. Yes. Salimia mtu muambia wewe. <laughs> How? Umenipata tu kwa barabara na gari naendesha kwa barabara ama natembea kwa mguu na niambia mtumishi. Can you prophesy a word to me? Nitakuambia bila nataka. Nitakuambia nimeona mbele yako unaenda America in the next 3 weeks na makofi mauna leta sadaka ya uongo. But it was a shift in the spirit. Maana Biblia inasema nguvu za kinabii ziko chini ya mamlaka ya unabii. Iko pale they can judge that spirit themselves. It's a move. It is power. It is the word of God. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Ndiyo mana siku za mwisho. Watu wengi watajitafutia walimu wao. Ni watu wangapi wanaruka kanisa moja kuenda nyingine kila siku. Mwezi moja umeenda kanisa ine. Ngalia jirani yako mambie. Wewe jirani wewe. Hata ama umeguja leo. Mambie. Uwezi badilisha makanisa maratatu kwa mwezi. Aujulika ni penye uko. Maana unatafuta mwalimu ambaye anafanana na wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Aemba neno ni mazuri ama tunasema namna gani? Inasema siku za mwisho watu watajitafutia walimu wao na watajijazia walimu wao. Yaani atakwambia at, utakuwa unataka kuambia chenye wewe unataka wewe. Niambie pastor. <laughs> Mungu anasemaje? Nikwambie Mungu anasema ile dhambi ulifanya jana utubu unahama hapo unaenda kwingine. <laughs> eh? 
Kwa hivyo watu watataka kujitafutia vitu zinawafurahisha. Biblia inasema vizuri ya kwamba wale wanaomwamini Kristo Yesu ishara hizi na miujiza zitawambatana pamoja na wao. Miracle signs and wonders will accompany them. Lakini what is happening today katika nyakati za mwisho? Ukisikia kuna muujiza hapa unakimbia hapo. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor I'm not going to be part of the people searching for miracles. Miracles will follow you. Ilo mikono sema miracles will follow me. That is according to the words of Jesus Christ. The miracles will follow you. Na natangaza katika jina Yesu. Receive that grace. May miracles follow you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So, wanasema kwamba they will have itching ears. Itching ears ni wale watu ambao wanatafuta kusikia maneno ya kuwafurahisha. Hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie kama wewe uwezi kuonywa ukakubali maonyo. If you cannot be warned na ukubali kuonywa na upige magoti na uinue mikono waambie Mungu naomba unisamee. There is no day God will land from heaven aje na kanzu nyeupe kukuambia dhambi zile ulifanya jana. God will use his servants to tell you the truth. Unao mikono sema amen. Ama umekasirika. God will use his servants to tell you the truth. In fact, Biblia inasema hao watu wako na masikio ambayo inataka kusikia maneno wanataka. Nani yako hapa anataka kusikia tu maneno anataka? Ukisikia neno unasema kwamba na huyu mtu alikuwa ananihubiri kwa nini? Wacha nikwambie dunia mzima hakuna pastor na nafasi ya kuhubiri mtu. Are we together? So, roho ya uongo tuikatae. Watu wengi vitu zingi tuko nazo zilianza na uongo ndio maana zinapotea. Kuna ndoa ilianza na uongo inapotea. Tuko pamoja? Mnanielewa kile nasema? Wewe ulisimama ukadanganya huyu dada, ukadanganya yule mwingine, ukadanganya yule mwingine, ukachanganya au pamoja wakachanganyikiwa. Yaani kile kitu umeanza na uongo haiwezi kubaki mpaka utumie uongo kuikisalisha pale. Lakini God is speaking to us. Tuambie shetani kuanzia leo uongo wako tumekataa. Amen. So uh, this is happening. Number one, people are seeking for their miracles rather than the truth. Andika chini. People are seeking for miracles rather than the truth. Jesus said, by knowing the truth, the truth shall set you free. So if I want to be free, I better look for the truth. Maisha yetu wengi imekwama kwa sababu tunatafuta miujiza, tumekataa kutafuta ukweli. Number two. Exodus of believers running from one church to another. They are in search for something. They are in search for something. Leo hii wacha niwaambie ukweli. It is not easy. Hata nyi wenye mnajiandaa kufanya kukuwa wachungaji. Let me tell you, allow me to give you the truth from the tap of priesthood. It is not easy to mentor sons and daughters today. Do you know the reason why? Biblia inasema nyakati za mwisho kutatokea kizazi cha ukaidi. Ambacho kila mtu atakuwa na ukweli wake. Mahali ambapo wazazi watakufuriwa inatendeka ama itendeki saizi. wazazi wanaheshimiwa ama wanakufuriwa ukienda kila mahali utapata from our families utapata baba na mama watoto hawana heshima kizazi cha leo enda katika makanisa utapata wachungaji wanalia juu ya maisha ya watu wanalia yani watu wamepiga punctures kwa wachungaji wana madoa doa mengi ya shida na matatizo kwa sababu gani hii anga hii ni ya nyakati za mwisho. Ukiangalia baba nyumbani asemi vizuri kukuhusu. Sema wewe kijana gaidi kabisa. Kija hiyo maneno amekutuma nayo mpaka amekuleta kwangu sasa. Mimi sasa nimekuwa baba yako wa kiroho. Si yule mwenye amesema wewe ni gaidi. Sasa ukinikutana tu na wewe na mnai nikikwambia neno moja, na, kitu cha kwanza ninaona kwako ni ugaidi kwanza. Yale maneno ilitumwa inakuja na wewe. Ebu angalia jirani yako mwambie vizuri uelewe hii maneno. Kuna mtu wako hapa alitumwa na maneno. 
Na hii maneno haikutoki ukisimama na maneno mara ya kwanza watu wanakushangilia. Mara ya pili watu wanaanza kushangilia polepole. Mara ya tatu saudi zinapunguka. Mara ya ine wanaona ugaidi. Oh I wish I'm talking to somebody right now. <laughs> Salimia jirani yako mwambie jirani unaelewa vizuri ulituma na neno gani nyuma ya mgongo yako Kuna mtu alikuja hapa akambiwa kwamba huyu ah hakuna mali anaenda Na huko kageuka ukasema mimi hakuna mimi ndio Mungu aliniita naenda mahali Na kweli umekaa hapa hakuna mali unaenda Mbu salimia jirani yako mwambie wewe jirani unaelewa hii maneno kweli Maana ulikuja na neno kwa mgongo ya kwamba hakuna mali unaenda Mpaka tunapiga na tunaanza tena hata sasa ulikuja tu vizuri ukanipata mimi na kupenda tu vizuri na sasa tumeanza kufanya huduma sasa umeanza kuniangalia pia unaona mimi ni shetani Sema sasa huyu mtu sasa unaona ile maneno imeanza kufanya kazi We must deal with these forces Ili watu wa Mungu wafunguke watu wa Mungu wakue huru ninaomba katika jina la Yesu hapa kutotokea watu wa neema kubwa Kutatokea watu wa neema kubwa kwa sababu gani the lord is up to doing something great in this place amen so usikubali usikubali kwamba uwe katika nafasi ya kufanya tu maneno ya kutembea kuna kitu unajitafutia kama kuna kitu haipatikani unaenda kutafuta waje nikwambie god is omnipresent he can be found here if your atmosphere your heart is good God can be found anywhere if your atmosphere is good. Lakini usiwahi ondoka kwa boma lenu. Kuna wengine walioleka wako hapa. Walioleka wakiwa wana hapa hii boma sitawahi kanyaga. Na kweli hakuna siku umekanyaga. Kuna wale walikasirika wakaondoka na kujivuruta. Ujue ujue kuna ile kujingoa na nguvu na ugaidi. Mpaka leo mahali popote unaenda watu wanakuacha pale. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo spirit iko juu ya maisha yako. The Lord will help us today. Somebody lift up your hands. Sema Mungu nisaidie. This spirit is not my portion. Number three. People will be asking for prophetic word. People will be asking for prophetic word. Forgetting the true prophecy is God's word. They forget the true prophecy is God's word. Hakuna unabii mwingine. The true prophecy is God's word. If I hate the word of God, I have already hated the prophecy. Because the prophecy is the word of God. Tuko pamoja kanisa? Tuko pale pamoja? Neno la unabii ni neno la Mungu. Ikiwa unaweza keti chini ukavumilia ukweli, ukavumilia kuonywa Maana Biblia inatuambia vizuri katika 2 Timothy. Ni 2 Timothy nasema the word of God is powerful for rebuke, rebuking, correction, whatever. Maybe you can find it. It does all those things. That is what the word does. And we need to follow those steps. For this reason, men will be carried away by deceiving spirit. Kwa sababu yaya maneno matatu nimetaja. People seeking miracles people exoding from one church to another and also asking for prophetic word that is the reason why many people will be deceived why is the people why, why is the church and the people deceived in our later days our present day everybody is not ready to follow the truth but i pray how many people desire to follow the truth wangapi wanapenda kufata ukweli Biblia inasema ya kwamba maneno mangapi itakufanya udanganywe? Maneno mangapi? Matatu. Jambo la kwanza kutafuta miujiza utadanganywa. Tadanganywa. Nilikuwa naona kilipo kingine mtu anasema ya kwamba operation kill Goliath. Hiyo ndio theme ya mkutano. Operation na akasema Mawe akaleta mawe kwa gunia ikajaa kwa gunia. Kasema ukichukua jiwe moja na shilingi elfu moja. Na usimame tu na urushe na mna hivi, maadui wako wote chini. Angalia bila watu wanadanganywa. Maana you are looking for miracles. 
Unaona watu wanasimama hata wengine wana vitambi, wengine wana mabagu nzuri kama kina dada hawa, wamevaa vizuri, wamesoma, wako na degree, wengine wako na diplomas. Wamesimama wamepanga laini kwa gunia, wanatafuta mawe moja ndani ya gunia. Angalia jirani yako mwambie wewe ulisoma, toka hapo. Toka hapo umesoma. Mimi ninasema hata waliochaguliwa watadanganywa. Even the elected, they shall be deceived. Hata wale wanaimba, hata wale wanaubiri, hata wale ambao wanafanya kazi watadanganywa. Naambia kwamba operation maadui lazima waende chini. Waja ni kuambia waende chini. Yesu hakusema hivyo. <laughs> Kwanza unadanganywa. Yesu alisema ombe hao maadui. Waombe. Na uwapende. Alikuwa chema neno mangapi? Hakusema operation waende chini. It is within his circle to deal with them. Ndiyo maana Biblia nasema, last Sunday niliwasome ni kasema, and God will cause your enemies to be defeated before your eyes. To be defeated or to die. Musa limia jirani yako mwambia, soma Biblia vizuri jamani. He will cause your enemies to be defeated before your eyes. Nakini pia mungu mkono wake ni mkono mkuu. Akitaka kumaliza maadui pia. Na wamaliza. Not me, not you. But he has power to kill them. Mwana zifia sana. Nikaona watu wanakimbia pale. Wanatoa shiringi elfu moja moja. Elfu moja moja. Mawe tu ya kawaida. Sasa huu mesimama kwa compound kwa kwa nyumbani. Unaona hata wamama wamekunja, wamekunja maleso. Unaona wanarusha mawe. Huyu jirani anakuona unarusha mawe. Unasema maadui chini. Anakuona ukiwa mkristo ama mchawi. <laughs> Angalia jirani yako mwambie unaweza kuwa mchawi na huku zaliwa mchawi wewe kwa sababu ya kudanganywa You are looking for miracles Bwana Yesu asifiwe You know mkono namna isema I will never be defeated Wangapi wanasema kutoka kwa moyo kuanzia leo hawataenda kwa sarakasi we will rather go for the word Sarakasi haitatusaidia Unasimama pale unaambiwa kwamba fungua mdomo Na umezoma. <laughs> Fungwa vizuri. Meza. Kitu gani unameza? Si maji. Unameza mafuta. Mbangalia jirani yako mambie. Inaitua anointing oil. Anointing. Enda define. Hata kama huku enda shuleni. Enda define na maana ya neno anoint. It's to smear. Na huu unaswalo kwa nini? Uongo na upuzi. Salimia jirani yako mwambie wewe kuanzia leo funguka macho hata kudanganywa hata wewe umesoma. Hivi tu tusipofundisha kanisa litapotea. Watu ambao wamesoma watakwisha. Na unasikia Jumapili inayokuja hata ushuhuda peke yake ni shahidi tosha. Nasikia mtu anasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa yote mzima. Amen. Haki ya Mungu Jumapili kama pasta ange nipate ile mafuta nikunywe. Ah, saa hizi sijui ningekuwa wapi. Wapi Yesu? Uliza jirani yako wapi? Wapi Yesu kwa ushuhuda yako? Kila nimesikia tu ni mafuta na mchungaji. Evidence tosha. It was not Jesus. Salimia jirani yako mwambie kuanzia leo funguka macho. Na leo hii tukasema hizi bug za washirika ziletwa hapa tumwage chini. Kuna watu nataka nikwambie ukweli kuna bug zao wezi kuniletea hapa. Ah ah, sisemi uongo. Nasema maneno ya ukweli. Ama niseme saa hizi kuja hapa tumwage tu chini alafu utarokota mwenye. Tuone vitu gani zinatoka ndani. <laughs> Utaona kila mtu ako na kakitu hapo ndani. Yaani tulifanyika wachawi lini. Kwa sababu tumetanganywa tunakuambia enda weka hii ndio bwana yako akupende vizuri enda weka hii kitu kwa chai weka asubuhi weka saa saba, weka jioni na wakijo na karanga nyama vizuri unaweka ndani eh jamaa anaamka asubuhi anakuambia hata sioni kama nitaenda kazi leo nasikia tu kama mtu atakuiba sasa mmekaa tu kwa nyumba na mwanaanza anaanza kuomba Mungu wake ya Mungu wake enda tu kazini wewe ndio ulisema akae hapo Angalia jirani yako mwambie ulidanganywa. 
Mtu alikuwa anasimama na mwana anaongea maneno mazuri yanatoka. Sasa hizi hata akiangalia ndani ya watu anaangalia chini. Yaani ana. <laughs> Awezi simama mbele ya watu. Wewe uliyonimaliza yeye. Hebu angalia salimu ya mtu mwambie wewe ulidanganywa. Vitu vingine waachana kuingia ndani. Kuna watu wengi walianza vizuri saa hizi wamedandandana wameharibika kwa sababu gani? Forces zinaingizwa katika marriage yenu. The only thing that can make your marriage to go far ni upendo wa Yesu Kristo. The blood of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hakuna angalia, angalia mtu mwambie sio kwa dawa. It is by your own heart. Ni moyo tu usidanganyike. Kama unaka kitu na angushanga ndani ya asubuhi enda tupa leo na kuambia Mungu amekuonya mapema. Enda tupa. Ni uongo. You are looking for miracles. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mbona imeni imepunguka sana? First Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 inasemaje? Now the spirit expressly says that in the later times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirit and the doctrine of demons. That is what is going to happen the last days. People will listen to deceiving spirit. Lakini ukikalishwa chini waambie tu maneno ya ukweli people will never love to listen to that. Lakini mimi ningependa kusema kwamba wacha tu bila Biblia inasema wewe watu lakini si wewe. Angalia jirani yako ambie si mimi. Asiwe ni wewe. Kwa sababu watu wengi wanaenda. Watu wanaanguka. Ama nasema uongo jamani. Si mnaelewa kile anasema? People are falling away from the true gospel of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. People are falling away. Yesu alisema ya kwamba by knowing the truth the truth shall set us free. Umaijiuliza kwa nini mtu anakemewa pepo hii Jumapili tena next Sunday ni wewe tu. Hebu angaliana na jirani yako mwambie umaijiuliza kwa nini hata nyinyi wenye mnaona mikutano naona mtu mwenye amekemewa demon leo tena Jumapili ijayo ni yeye. Shida iko wapi? Shida iko wapi? Shida ni kwamba ukweli ijaingia ndani ya huyo mtu. Maana hakuna siku mapepo inakaa na ukweli pamoja. Kubali ukweli mapepo itaenda. Mahali kuna mwangaza giza lazima. Yesu akasema ya kwamba neno lake ni ukweli. Likiingia ndani yetu maisha yetu yamebadilika. The powerful deliverance kama unaandika chini is knowing the word. Amen. What is the powerful deliverance? Kuwekewa mkono na nabii mkubwa? Kuwekewa mkono na bishop? Eh? The powerful deliverance enda ujisomee Biblia uielewe. Kataa kile Biblia inasema do not. You live a good life. Amen. Roho ya pili, the last. Hii roho ya tamaa. Iko katika nyakati za mwisho hizi ama hakuna? Iko. Hiyo ndio roho namba 2 ambayo lazima tuikabili leo. Lazima tuikabili katika nyakati hizi. Roho ya tamaa. Na wacha nikwambie imekuja namna gani? Niruhusu niseme maneno haya. Hii roho ya tamaa imekuja katika nyakati za mwisho. Nyakati za mwisho. Saa hizi nataka si wewe sisemi wewe. Toka tu hapa anza kuangalia huku nje ukitembea polepole ukitembea hata kwa matatu hata mahali popote hata katika kila inchi angalia saa hizi hii roho ndio inafanya kazi hii roho imefanya mpaka kuna mavazi ya roho hii am i talking to somebody here yani ulitoka nyumbani ukiwa tu na roho nzuri ulitoka nyumbani ukiwa kasichana kazuri sana ukiwa mvulana mzuri sana lakini umeingia katika muji huu wa Nairobi hii roho imekushika. Roho ya last imekushika. Ukivaa nguo mpaka uache mkono mmoja imengoka, ilienda wapi? Ebu angalia jirani yako mwambie tusemezane ukweli. Hii mkono mmoja hakuna kwa nguo yako, ilienda wapi na kwa nini hakuna? Spirit ya last hiyo. Ili kuna mtu anaamini kwa moyo wake, mtu akiona hapa 
lazima atanipigia simu mtu alitoka nyumbani akiwa mtu mzuri kabisa leo hii unavaa ka t-shirt kamefika hapa kamefika hapa na unatembea kifua yote iko mbele yako namna hii unatisha nani ni roho fulani We unataka kufanya kitu fulani au kukuwa namna hii msalimia mtu mwambie hii tabia hii imeanzia Nairobi hii tabia imekushikia kwa hii anga ya spirit ya last ilitokea wapi nani alijua nguo ya bafu nguo ya kwenda kuoga ndio itakuja kupatikana mtu anatembea nayo kwa barabara mimi sikujua hivyo mpaka hii roho vile imeshuka Aibu angalia jirani yako mwambie hii maneno naielewa kweli. Nani alijua kuna mtu atakuja kushona nguo refu nzuri kabisa paka ifike kwa miguu lakini ameipasua kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Nani alijua mambo hayo? Ni hiro kwa sababu imeshuka. My God. Aibu angalia jirani yako mwambie hakuna kitu hakuna fashion hapo ni roho ya last. Roho ya nyakati za mwisho. Nani alijua Muta atashuka tu laini mbili peke yake kwa kichwa na inamisha kwa macho na mna hivi. Attraction hii yote ni ya nini? Roho ya nyakati za mwisho. Come on. Salimia jirani yako mwambie jirani unaelewa hii maneno. Hii ni roho na hata ukiuliza huyu mtu atakwambia hii ni spirit. Anataka attraction fulani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ndio roho ninazungumzia ya nyakati za mwisho, roho ya tamaa. Roho ambayo hata wasichana watatembea uchi mbele ya baba zao wazazi. Paka wana regret kwa nini ulizaliwa. My God. Hebu angalia jirani yako mwambie wewe uko kwa hii roho ama uliepa. Hii roho imekushika ama umekokoka kwa hii roho. Roho ambayo wewe ulitoka tu nyumbani vizuri unavaa shati vizuri na leo hii unatembea na vifungu yote ya shati imefunguka paka hapa na unatembea tu kabisa mzima mzima kwa barabara Angalia mtu mwambie wazimu ni wengi lakini hawajajitambua ni kwa sababu ni kujitambua tu hatujajitambua lakini we ni wengi Tunakabili roho hizo ili kanisa lisimame kuna watu wange kuwa washarati wamekamatwa na usharati kwa sababu ya roho hizi. Kuna watu ndoa zao hazingevunjika lakini zinavunjika kwa sababu ya hizi roho. Na ninatangaza katika jina la Yesu nikiwa kwa hii bao. Wale single mothers wote Mungu afungue milango yao waoleke katika jina la Yesu Kristo. I declare from this altar in the name of Jesus. Na wale wameoa wote na wameshikwa na hizi roho Bana kaweza kufungua njia zao wakaweza kukaa katika mareji zao. Na wasichana wetu wadogo pia Mungu akaweza kuwasimamisha kule shuleni. Inua mikono yako sema wasimamishwa na Mungu. Wasimamishwa na Mungu kule shuleni wavulana, wasichana ili bana akawalee. Tuwe na kizazi kitakachobadili nchi yetu. Tuwe na kizazi kitakachobadili kanisa. Inua mikono tangaza tuwe na kizazi kitakachobadili maadili katika taifa letu. Na tuwe na watu watakao simama leo hii ukitaja marriage hata wala hawajaoleka wanasema haifanyi kazi na tangaza nikikataa hizo roho tunasema inafanya kazi na tunafukuza hizo maro katika jina la Yesu Angalia jirani yako mwambie wewe Mungu akusaidia akufungulie milango Mungu akufungulie milango Mungu akufungulie milango hata kama ulikosana mahali wacha tu Mungu akufungulie milango inua mikono yako sema Mungu open my doors open my doors kama kuna kitu ninaomba ni kwamba Mungu arejeshe watu Mungu arejeshe kanisa Mungu arejeshe ndugu zetu Mungu arejeshe dada zetu ili turejee mahali tulikuwa roho wa Bwana akatawale kila mahali somebody lift up your hands sema hiyo roho tunakataa na kama unaikataa kataa kwa watoto wako kataa kwa watoto wako kataa katika ndugu zako kataa katika dada zako katika jina la Yesu wale wa mama wamefika mahali wamejidharau wanasema ya kwamba sisi hatuna heshima naomba Mungu awakumbuke 
Bwana wakumbuke katika jina la Yesu. Ino mikono sema Bwana wakumbuke. Wale wazee ambao wameishi peke yao, hawana wake. Tunasema watakaa kama single fathers. Tunakataa katika jina la Yesu. Mungu awakumbuke. Mungu awakumbuke. Ino mikono sema Mungu awakumbuke. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord remember them. Na wale wametosha kuoleka na kuoa amutazidi kukaa single in the name of single na usiku mnaoleka tunakataa katika jina la Yesu salimia mtu mwambie tunakataa hii roho ya kutembea ukisema uko single na unajidanganya usiku lilala wapi nani anasema tukatai hiyo roho jamani hakuna haja uoleke usiku mchana we ni single ikifika saa moja umeoleka ukiamka mapema asubuhi single Hiyo ni spirit. Tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu akufungulie milango, Mungu akufungulie milango. Lazima hiyo roho ikuachilie katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Isitawale watoto wako, isitawale maisha yako, isigeuze mawazo yako. Kataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The spirit of lust. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe mpaka mama mama mwokovu ameokoka amejazwa na roho baba ameokoka mtoto anavaa tumbo kati amewacha tumbo yote nje anatembea anasema ai Mungu ametubariki tunakasichana kama anza kufika kwa boma ushindwe katika jina la Yesu si mama weka maadili kwa mtoto weka maadili kwa msichana huyo weka maadili kwa huyo kijana Bwana atabariki boma lako katika jina la Yesu weka maadili spirit ya roho nyakati za mwisho nyakati za mwisho na kama hutaweka maadili hata wewe itakugonga angalia jirani yako mwambie kile kitu unacheka nacho kitakuangusha wewe wangapo anasema kuanzia leo tunakataa katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu hii roho second peter chapter 3 verse 3 Inasema kwamba knowing this fast that scoffers will come in the last days walking according to their own lust what do, what will they do they shall walk according to their own lust kama wewe uko hapa wewe ni msichana mvulana mtu umeoa umeolewa tulia bwana anakubariki mungu atakuinua nasema mungu atakuinua amen maana kutatokea scoffers ambao watatembea katika njia zao za tamaa Haleluya Hizi hizi vitu mnaziona ama ni mimi peke yangu ninaona Shetani ameguza na kungoa watu ukiona watu kama hawa these people they carry destinies Awa ni watu wakubwa sana. Na wacha niwaambie wapendo, usiwahi kuona mtoto wa mwenzako ameangamia alafu unacheka. Haujui kabisa kama wewe wako atafika pale. Hebu angalia mtu mwambie hata wewe mwenye ume, hata kale katoto umelea tuko mkono. Ukisikia hii maneno ninazungumza, lilia Mungu. Lilia Mungu, kuna wazazi anakutana na mtoto wake kwa kona hii, anakutana na mwingine kwa kona hii paka anatamani kufa. Unakaa kwa nyumba pago unasema sijui kama I wish kwa sababu ya maneno ya dunia hii spirit ya nyakati za mwisho kama hatutakaa na watoto wetu kama hatutakaa sisi wenyewe turekebishe maneno haya shetani ataweza kunyakua na kuharibu kanisa Amen Bwana asifiwe sana Spirit hii ya last inakuja na spirit ya ubakaji Kisikia mtu amenajisi mtu ni mavazi pia sometimes ni mavazi Hawezi kuvaa ne, half naked na unafikiri ya kwamba you are safe in what you are doing ni spirit inatafuta kukuangamizia destiny yako na nikasema wakati mwingine Mungu awasaidie kina mama usianze kuvalisha watoto kachupa tu kale kalongi kakumshika alafu anatembea tu nako hata mimi nikikuona na msiwezi kukuheshimu yaani waambie ukweli 
utaheshimika tu bila utaweka watoto wako pia sisi tutakuheshimu lakini mtoto umemvaliza tu kachupa namna yeye anatembea nako na nasema anaenda mbali nataka nikwambie aendi mbali atapotea kwa mikono yako mapema ni mambo machungu lazima tukubaliane tubadilishe anga hii hii spirit lazima iende chini na itaenda chini kwa sababu sisi wenyewe tumesimama imara wangapi wanasema amen na nilianza kwa kusema watu wengi wanatafuta miujiza wengine wanatafuta nini prophecy wengine The... hayo maneno matatu ukishika utadanganywa lakini haya ninakuambia nasoma mistari ya biblia kuna mtu anaweza kupata uchungu ya kukaa chini ya hii mafundisho ni ya ukweli lakini si rahisi kuyaelewa Mungu atusaidie inua mikono sema bwana tusaidie Scoffers are the people who mocks. Watu ambao wanamzaa mzao. Umeiona mtu anaona kitu inaharibika lakini anachekacheka. Eh? Umeiona mtu anaona kitu inaharibika kabisa lakini badala ya kuhuzunika anacheka. Unajua huyu anacheka nini? Eh? Kwa sababu they are just there for jokes. Lakini sio mahali pa kufanyia fun and anything else. This is the spirit that enemies uses to pull many from right dimension. He roho ya last. Roho ya last ilitumika katika kitabu cha Genesis. Ilitumika wapi? In Genesis. Do you remember what happened? Tunda lilitolewa tu, alafu Eve akaonyeshwa. Nataka mniangalie vizuri kanisa. Namalizia. Eve ndio tufike mahali tumefikishana na dhambi leo ni kwa sababu Eve ambaye alikuwa mbele, shetani akajua ya kwamba Adam ako na ukweli. Na Eve amepokea ukweli huo kutoka kwa Adam. Alimkujia Eve badala yake kumwendea nani? Adam. Shetani anaogopa mtu akona na ukweli. Anafata mtu ambaye alisikia habari ya ukweli. Akamuonyesha tunda akamwambia angalia. Unafikiri nataka ujipata vizuri. Kugeuza lile tunda kwa macho ya ya huyu mwanamke, shetani alikuwa anamaanisha nini? anapandisha appetite ya tamaa angalia yani nyinyi mnipate uko na njaa na umeshinda na njaa 3 days na mtu alete chapati akuonyeshe hivi tena afungue na nini natendeka ndani yako tuseme ukweli nini natendeka ndani yako ni mate una meza na tayari unaweza mnyang'anya hiyo last ndio shetani anatumia kuvuta watu wengi na kuondoa kwenye njia Nami ninaomba kuanzia leo hautakuwa kiteka uchumi cha shetani ambacho atatumia kungoa watu katika reli ya njia. Mungu atubariki wote. Atupatie neema sisi wote. Tusimame siku ya leo. Tuseme we are commanding that spirit it's not our portion. Kuna mtu hizi sema amen kwa hiyo. Amen. Ninasema ya kwamba for anyone who lose direction he or she is tested in three ways. Ndipo hata kama umekaa hapa unasema I wish I knew maisha yangu imeharibika ulijaribiwa kwa njia Nataka uandike chini njia ngapi tatu njia hizi tatu kama utazishinda and you will live a victorious life you will live a victorious life Josiah tell you unaelewa hii maneno these are the three ways shetani atatumia hizo leo atatumia kesho atatumia kesho kutwa hakuna siku atabadili hata kwa shamba la had shamba la edeni alitumia the same procedures number one, the last of the flesh the last of the flesh anatumia hiyo ili akuvute maana anajua wewe umejisitiri katika mwili huu lakini wewe si mwili huu bible inasema katika walawi 17:11 uhai wa mwili huu umo katika damu damu hiyo ndio uhai katika mwili huu the spirit man in the flesh you have the power to take dominion over the flesh unaiambia tulia angalia jirani yako mwambie kuanzia leo wewe ni kiongozi command your body to be silent kuzungumza na mtu mwambie command your body to be silent ikikuongoza kwenda kuiba kitu cha mtu maana hauwezi iba kiroho unaenda huko kimwili unabomoa mlango Hallelujah. 
hawezi kata mtu na panga kimwili ya kiroho paka mkono ishike hiyo panga namna hii nini imekata mtu ni wewe lakini mkono hii ambaye ni mwili ambaye it is not under your control imefanya dhambi i pray in the name of jesus somebody lift up your two hands the last of the flesh shetani akaambia yesu kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu geuza jiwe hili liwe mkate nani anaelewa maneno haya kwa nini jiwe ligeuzwe liwe mkate lakini sio miti shetani alikuwa na lengo jiwe likifanyika mkate litaenda wapi jiwe likifanyika mkate litaenda wapi angalia mtu mwambie hii maneno sikiza bwana hii jiwe likibadilika mkate linaenda wapi kwa tumbo ndio maana paula akasema tumbo ni kwa chakula na chakula ni kwa tumbo zote mbili zitaangamia Shetani anataka uegemee kwa mkate wa kawaida. Yesu akasema mimi ndiye mkate wa uzima. Utajaribiwa kwa jambo la pili, the last of the eyes. The last of eyes. Kuna watu leo hii wakisimama waseme ukweli, watakwambia hakika macho yao imewaambia mambo mengi sana. Angalia jirani yako vizuri kwa macho, mwambie unaelewa namna gani. Kuna watu hii macho imewaangamiza. Hata mnaweza kana yeye polepole pole, lakini kuna mambo anaona paka hata maneno yenye namuongelesha akusikii. Hebu ongea na mtu mwambie unaelewa kile anasema? Mnakana mtu na mwambie umesikia vile nimesema? Eh, eh, eh. Ha Yeye kuna vitu anaona na ameenda huko. <laughs> Kuna watu wanaweza keti mali lakini hawako. Wameenda. Macho inawaongoza kufanya mambo fulani. Yesu alifshika wa Mafarisayo, Masadukayo na maneno haya. Wakati mwanamke alitokea kwa mlango, macho yao iliangalia Yesu ama mwanamke. Umaijiuliza kwa nini? Wote wakageuka, wakawacha Yesu. Yesu akatengeneza maneno pale akasema Mtu yeyote hata akiangalia kwa macho rohoni mwake ametenda Kanisa tuko pamoja Shetani anatuletea kitu inaitwa the last of eyes Macho haina pazia kwa Kiswahili Lakini mtu aliye kiroho macho yake kwa napazia Salimia jirani yako mwambie macho yake itakuwa na pazia ukiwa kiroho. Lakini ukiwa kimwili imeenda. Hiyo macho itachukua kila kitu, inachukua kila kitu inakuja. But God will give you protection over your eyes because of this last. Number three. Utajaribiwa mara ya tatu. The pride of life. The pride of life. The pride of life. Bible inasema in 1 John chapter 2 1 John chapter 2 verse number 16 inasema for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life is not from the father Tumeelewa pale Nasema ya kwamba in the 1 John 1 John chapter number 2 verse 16 Nasema for all that is in the world. What is in the world? One the last of the flesh. Inamaanisha you are not in Christ, you are in the world. Number two. The last of the eyes. Yaani hata mwenzako ukiangalia mwenzako kile kitu ako nacho unasema hii ingekuwa yangu. Hii ingekuwa yangu. Hii inge, hii nyumba ingekuwa yangu. Hii gari ingekuwa yangu. Ingwe ingekuwa yangu hii kiatu ingekuwa yangu last of the eyes It is the force that is from the world Na vinasema the pride of life The pride of life Mambo mangapi matatu Tamaa ya mwili Tamaa ya macho na kiburi cha uzima 
Ukijaribiwa katika maneno hayo matatu. Shetani amekuondoa katika Kristo, amekuingiza katika roho ambaye si ya Kikristo. Very quickly andika maneno yafuatayo. Ukiona mtu ana maneno yafuatayo jua hii ni upendo na hii ni tamaa. Upendo inavumilia. Love is patient. Two. Love is kind. Kind. Number three. Love does not envy. Love does not envy. Number four. Love is not rude. Love is not rude. The number five does not insist on their own way. Love does not insist on their own way. The numbers, the last one. Love rejoices with the truth. Love rejoices with the truth. Andika last. Love underline mustari. Ndiyo mtu akikukujia na last, unajua hii ni last. Hii si love. Okay? Kama wewe ni ndugu ujaoa ama yeye kijana ujaolewa msichana ujaolewa ama mama ama mzee ulio mahali hapo unanisikiza ama yeyote anayenisikiza kwa online ukiona mmekutana na mtu leo na anakuambia leo utalala kwangu umekutana na mkora ambaye ako na last hana upendo na kama utanisikia leo utakuja kunizalimia kesho wewe ndio utakuja kusema ya kwamba hao watu wananitumia vibaya na kunidump. Wewe ndio ulienda huko. Salimia jirani yako ulienda huko na mna gani? Last. You cannot go anywhere with a stranger. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa. Last is not patient. Kiwa na tamaa, wezi vumilia. Nasema leo tu, leo tu. Leo tu. Last is not patient. Number two. Last is not kind. Jina mtu ambaye amekutumia vibaya na uongo ya tamaa. Hata ukimpigia simu mwambie niko na shida. Anakuambia mimi sina chochote ya kusaidia nayo. Last. Ulikuwa nafikiri ni rafiki anakupenda kwa sababu hana uvumilivu. Na pia ye mwenyewe hana chochote cha kusaidia. Last is not kind. It is only love that is kind. Tuko pamoja sasa kanisa. Naomba kwa sababu kuna wapendwa katikati yetu, kuna ndugu katikati yetu. One day you'll meet people. Kikutana na mtu ana character zifuatazo. He is not patient. He is not kind. Love has what we call It does not have envy but lust has envy. Lust has envy. Mtu aliye na tamaa kila kitu chenye mwingine ako naye anasema ni yake. Hata na kuonea vibaya unapoinuliwa na Mungu na uwezi kumshusha salimia mwenzako mwambie hata ukiwa na hii roho ya lust ati unaweka unajua lust inakuja na wivu inakuja na kutotulia inakuja na uchoyo hiyo ni lust wangapi wanasikia kama hiyo roho iko ndani yao <laughs> roho ambayo ukiangalia mtu utaki aendelee last you don't have the right spirit kuna wrong spirit deal with that spirit do not accept it na hiyo roho ya last na kuzuia kusonga mbele you will never move to the next level is a dangerous spirit deal with it And also last is very rude. Hata ukiongelesha mtu ako na last kuongea peke yake matamshi machafu. Ana heshima. Hatulii anyenyekei. Ni nature ya last. Last is very rude. Hainyenyekei maana ndiposo upate mtu amenyenyekea ni roho mtakatifu ako ndani yake. Na roho mtakatifu anakuja na nine fruit. <laughs> Hebu angalie jirani yako mwambie kumbe nimeanza kuelewa. 
Kiona mtu anasema wewe kuna mahali utanipeleka wewe utanipeleka wapi utanifanya nini last inakupatia power ya kujitawala hawezi ongozwa na mtu na ndio maana huwa ninaambia kina dada wakija kuniambia ama kina ndugu kuna ndugu wale wanasimama wanasema mchungaji maneno tena ya kuoa nimekataa sitawahi unaapa last <laughs> mambo ya wanaume nimewachana nayo na wasikia saista kimaneno ya wanaume fagia hiyo spirit ya last pokea holy spirit tanza kuona mtazama mgeni ndani ya nyumba yako <laughs> ukianza kutamka tamka maneno fulani fulani kwa maisha yako iko na roho nyuma yake the spirit behind it it is very rude alafu last will always insist inasema ni leo ndani yako mwambie wewe umehai kumbana na hii maneno mchungaji anasema inasema ni leo hata kama ni kuomba unasikia mtu anasema Mungu usipofanya leo kwa maombi hii mahitaji nataka tu leo <laughs> kama ni kwenda kutafuta kazi leo aina uvumilivu ni last to always insist kama ni msichana alikuwa anaenda ku amekutana tu na mtu mkora kwa barabara anamwambia leo tu tunaenda na wewe anamwambia na sija kujua so umenijua tu saa hii leo unaanza kuona mapepo imeanza kukuingia pole pole unaanza kuchora na kidole chini kwa mchanga pole 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 umeanza kukubaliana na yeye na utasikia huyo mtu ndiye anasema amekuingiza kwa box last ukisikia mtu anasema ameingiza mwingine kwa box ni mkora salimia jirani yako mwambie hii maneno ni mazito lakini sikia bwana <laughs> ukisikia ume anasema hata mwenyewe anasema huyo niliingiza kwa box box inamaanisha alikufanyia ukora na ujanja uingie kwa box last kuna upendo mtu anaweza ingiza mwingine kwa box na ukona ukweli ya upendo ni mambo mikono sema hiyo pepo ishindwe katika jina la Yesu na kama ni wewe ndio unaingiza watu kwa box wachana na mabox yako hiyo wachana nayo naomba ziisha kabisa ubaki peke yako mabox zisionekane kwa maisha yako tena last does not rejoice with the truth kutana na mtu wa tamaa umwambie umepatikana umefanya jambo fulani hawezi kubaliana na ukweli maana hii ni maji na mafuta last ni kama maji na mafuta it cannot accept the truth hata yeye mwenyewe ndiye anajua ni ukweli lakini anataka kukuonyesha ni uongo last <laughs> salimia mtu mwambie jirani yangu hii maneno ni mazuri na nilianza nikasema ni kwamba anyone who accept the truth will go far. Number three, the last one. The spirit of hatred. Tutaikabili katika nyakati za mwisho. Nani anahisi roho kama hii iko ndani yake? Spirit of hatred. Ujeo ukitaka kwenda mbali usiwe unaogopa unasema hiyo pastor niko nayo. <laughs> Nani alikuwa nayo akaacha? Spirit of hatred. Anyi mmeishi vizuri? Eh? Hata kuna mtu umeheti kwa hii kanisa? Hakuna mtu hata hutaki kumuona? Anyi ni wazuri sana. Eh? Ujue kuna watu wanaomba vizuri, wanaimba vizuri, wanahubiri vizuri. Mambo yao ni mzuri nje lakini roho zao Fanya namna hii Iko na swali Maana Yesu angekuwa na ile roho mimi niko nayo na wewe Kuna mtu anapatikana tu anafanya kitu fulani Nasema huyo hata mimi siwezi kukana yeye Eh 
Huyu hata siwezi kula na yeye. Huyu hata siwezi tembea na yeye. Ni nini hiyo? Hatred. 